Hi friends, I'm Dr. Lavanya. I'm here in front of you to speak about cervical cancer and the significance of cervical cancer screening. According to WHO, cervical cancer is the fourth commonest cancer in females and about 570,000 females have been diagnosed newly with cervical cancer just in the year 2018. This number tells us the significance of screening cervical cancer. 90% of the death caused by cervical cancer happened in countries which belong to the low and the middle income group where cervical cancer screening is not a regular protocol. This death percentage will tell you how important it is to go for your regular screenings at regular intervals. Let me explain to you a little bit more about cervical cancer screening. Cervical cancer screening test or CST is a new test which has replaced your pap smear which you might have heard the name in the past and which was done every two yearly. The pap smear used to check the cell changes in the cervix of a female while this new test which is a cervical screening test checks for any human papilloma virus infection whether it is high risk or low risk in the cervix of a female. It is very important to diagnose the presence of human papilloma virus because early detection helps in early treatment and cure. There are more than 100 types of human papilloma virus available and normally uh, any female who is sexually active is prone to get the human papilloma virus via sexual contact. It doesn't have to be any sort of penetrative sexual activity. It could be just a genital skin contact. So this screening of cervical cancer is important not only in people who are engaged in penetrative sexual activity but also in all other groups who have a cervix intact or else whoever calls themselves into other categories like the lesbians and the transgenders because they do have an intact cervix. The cervical cancer screening is very significant and it is important for the age group for 25 to 74 according to the new protocol. So if you are a female who haven't done your cervical screening yet, kindly contact your regular medical practitioner or your gynecologist at the earliest and go and get your cervical screening done. In the next video, I'll be talking in depth about the cervical cancer screening test and the vaccination available for human papilloma virus. If you like this video, kindly support us by subscribing. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.